Hello, this is Dawn Garcia, and I'd like to welcome you to this introduction to StakePoint, a project portfolio management solution that I've had the opportunity to work with over recent months. I've really enjoyed it and wanted to share this with others for their benefit as well. Please note that I have no financial interests in StakePoint. What is project portfolio management? It is a process of managing multiple projects often within a program by either a program manager or project manager. This may include multiple independent and or interdependent projects, task-based projects, or even mega projects. Complex because of the multiple competing priorities and the challenges in managing resources, allocating these, and ensuring that the project achieves its goals on budget and on timeline. So why would one use the software tool? As mentioned, these are complex projects, and trying to manage them within paper resources or spreadsheets is becoming too complex for even the most effective project manager to manage. A software tool provides consistency and efficiency in all of the multiple facets of program management. It also supports team and organizational communication, with updates on deliverables and common storage of documents, as well as support to stakeholders as they're curious to see the project's process flow. Enabling management of resources and schedules and project costs on schedule and on budget. So while it makes sense to use a project management tool, why StakePoint? When I look to see what was on the market, there really is very few. The other one that is well known and well used is Microsoft Project. However, its price point is significantly higher than StakePoint. And StakePoint is Windows or Mac compatible, which definitely is an advantage when we're thinking about different systems, both internally and externally to organizations. The price point for StakePoint is only $14.99 at this point because it was created by a new startup that is still building functionality within the tool. I expect within about a year this tool will probably be in the $100 or more range. It is easy to use, intuitive, has fully functional project tools, will enable importing and exporting of Microsoft Project files, and works with internal databases or cloud DBase integration. Here's what a, a new project portfolio tool looks like within StakePoint. You can see to the left there's an area for projects and just by selecting the plus sign you can add additional projects to the portfolio. At the top there are a couple bars with options. The far left gives you the ability to add tasks, milestones to indent, outdent, add attachments, create linkages, and so forth. Moving left to right, the functions that are most frequently used are on the left. To the right are the functions to export documents into PDFs or Excel. <coughs> it also has the work breakdown structure in the center and the task hierarchy, as well as the Gantt chart to the right. Notice that the Gantt chart is already divided by weeks, creating a very easy timeline to see project progress. At the top are tabs that give the opportunity to see other elements of the project, progress in the timeline, as well as value, use of resources, and storage of documents. This is a sample stake point plan. You can see to the far left a listing of the projects at the top. Resources are down below. In the center is the work breakdown structure with the specific tasks and to the right is the Gantt chart showing two simultaneous project timelines with specific tasks in the dark blue and the lavender is really showing progress and linkages in those. At the very bottom is reflecting resources. On another page you can see the critical path for the project and you can see progress on that critical path plan in the graphic area. The next tab shows you workload resources. So you can see the project manager, 
and others that are part of the project team. And in the center graph area, you can see the resources that have been allocated for the project and areas where they have been under or over that resource allocation. This is an example of a stake point file that I set up for MBA 769, showing two of the projects that are deliverables for the course. You notice the names of the two projects are on the left-hand side under the project portfolio. In the center, we've got the listed tasks. And on the right-hand side, you can see the first <coughs> of the project timelines there noting the milestone in, as the blue diamond on the right-hand side. Note that always the project tasks will fall within the master project timeline. I hope that this has given you an introduction to StakePoint and that you've considered this may be a useful tool to increase the efficiency and consistency of your project management plans. As you go forward, I'd like to leave you with this thought. Be daring, be different, be impractical, be anything that will assert integrity of purpose and imaginative vision against the play it safers, the creatures of commonplace, and the slaves of the ordinary by Cecil Beaton. In short, I hope that this tool and this video will help you to master your project plans. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the very best in your project planning.